Okay, so in the previous video we have added the jump down parkour action, but if we play the jump down parkour action, you will notice this bug, okay? You can notice the jump down action is playing twice, okay? So let me tell you that this bug happens when the direction of the player and the direction of the ledge is very high. In order to fix this, we will not allow the player to jump if the angle is really high and you will be thinking how we will find that angle so let me tell you that in order to retrieve or find that angle between the player and the ledge we need to take the player forward vector and the normal of the ledge so with that let's first of all find the normal of the ledge we can find the normal of the ledge by casting a ray from the ledge okay for example if the player is standing right here okay then from this position in the forward direction we will cast a ray okay and then that ray will simply give us the normal of the ledge okay so let's first of all do that to find the normal of the ledge so for that right here in the environment checker as you can see right here when we are checking for the ledge right here when we draw the ledge recast okay after this let's create a variable by the name of surface ray cast origin this will be equals to the transform dot position of the player then plus movement direction then minus new vector 3 now right here we will set the position for the ray so for the x we will pass 0 for the y we will pass for example 0 0.1 okay and then for the z we will pass 0 as well and once we have the direction okay this is the direction of the player or you can say from this position we will be creating that ray and then this is the ray position okay now let's just create the ray so for creating that we will say physics dot raycast and as you know the raycast first of all need the origin or you can say the position from which we want to create that so that will be now the surface raycast origin okay then in which direction we want to create this ray and that will be the direction in which the player is looking so we will say minus movement direction and then we want to store the information okay so we will say out raycast hit and let's just name this as surface hit okay then we will provide the length to this ray the length will be let's just say 2 then we need to provide the layer so the layer will be as you know obstacle layer that is it and we will actually move this all inside a if condition okay because we want to make sure that if the player is on the ledge and also we have a normal of that ledge then we will move forward okay we just want to make sure right here so that's why we added a if condition and then inside that if we are creating this array so now what this is doing is basically this is giving that angle which we needed okay and as you know that angle is between the player and the ledge okay so now right here we will say that inside the if condition if the ledge height is greater than the threshold then what we will do we will say vector 3 dot angle and right here we will give the transform dot forward because as I told you in order to retrieve the angle between the player and the ledge we need to take the player
player forward vector and the normal of the ledge so this is the player forward vector okay we can retrieve that by transform dot forward and now we need to give the normal of the ledge so we will just simply say surface hit dot normal that is it now in order to retrieve this angle from this function we need to add a uh, or create a struct for this so after this obstacle info we will say public struct and in this as I told you we will store the angle okay we will retrieve it from there and save it in a variable inside this struct so we can just name this as for example ledge info and then first of all we will create a float for our angle okay then we also want to store the height so we will create a float for the height as well and then at the end we will create a ray cast hit so we will say ray cast hit and let's name this as surface hit now let's go ahead and add a reference of this ledge info in our check ledge method right here at the top we will say or create a variable by the name of ledge info okay and you will notice right here the L is small and this one is capital so make sure that you do the same as well or else you will get an error okay and then this will be equals to new ledge info okay then as you can see we have a float for the angle so let's assign this angle to this so right here we will say let me actually give space so it can give us the recommendations so ledge info dot angle will be equals to this okay then after this we need to assign the height so we will say ledge info dot height will be equals to the ledge height which is right here so we will say ledge height okay then we need to assign the surface hit okay which is this one so we will say ledge info dot surface hit will be equals to the surface hit so as you can see now we stored all of the ledge information now we need to return all of this information from this check ledge okay to wherever we need this data okay so in order to do that right here we will say out okay out ledge info this is the name of this struct and then we will say ledge info okay so type ledge info right there and then we don't need the VAR right there at the start that will be it now if we get back to the player script right here you can notice that we call this check ledge method right here so as you can see we have added the move direction now we need to add the ledge data as well so first of all let's go ahead and create a property for our ledge data so right here after this player on ledge property we will say public ledge info okay and we can name this as ledge info as well and we will say get set that is it now if we scroll down when we are on the ledge or you can say when the player is on the ledge we will set the ledge info okay return by the check ledge function okay so first of all right here let's say out okay then ledge info and ledge info okay 
then right here we will say ledge info equals to ledge info now if we get back to the parkour controller right here when we are performing the jump down parkour action okay right here now we will check the angle between the player and the ledge okay so we will say that if the player script dot ledge info dot angle is less than or equals to 50 then what we will do we will simply perform the jump down parkour action okay if the angle of the ledge is less than or equals to 50 and if it is not then we will not perform this parkour action okay if we open up the environment checker okay right here make sure that you remove these brackets from this struct because the struct doesn't contain these brackets okay just as we did right here we need to do the same for the ledge info as well now if we save this get back to unity okay we have this error which says that player script does not contain a definition for ledge info so if we check our parkour control script right here in the if condition we use this ledge info okay the l is small we actually need to type ledge in capital K because that is what we name in our player script okay now if we just save that get back to unity okay now as you can see the error is gone if you click on player everything is attached and we are ready to test it and before testing this okay what we need to do first of all is click on this animator and right here as you can see we have this jump down animation if we play it as you can see the player take this step first of all so we actually don't want that so we need to trim this a little bit more to for example 35 okay then we will be having just this jump okay so if you click on apply okay that is it so this will be now the animation okay let me show it to you again just cut it from the start to 35 and the end will be 48 okay and once you do that okay we have now all of the code set up now if we play the game okay and let's go ahead and run to this obstacle now if we jump down as you can see the player is playing the jump down perfectly fine okay now if we play it right here okay as you can see it is playing the jump down animation there is still a little bit issue with it okay but don't worry we will be fixing that in our future videos so now as you can see it is playing the jump down animation but if you notice right here that whenever we jump okay we have the player movement still active so we need to deactivate the player movement while we are jumping if you want to do this then just follow me and if you want and if you want to keep the player movement when the player is performing the jump down parkour action then you can do that as well but if you want to remove it then on the player script cut this velocity from here okay and then inside this if condition after the falling speed we will paste it and then outside this if condition we will define the velocity so we will say var velocity equals to vector 3.0 okay so that we can access this velocity from anywhere then and then in the else condition right down below we will say that if the velocity is equals to transform dot forward okay actually I want to apply some movement when the player perform the jump down parkour action so I will divide the movement speed by 2 okay so whenever the player perform the jump down parkour action we will add some speed to it so that it perform the parkour action a little bit forward from the position of the obstacle okay so make sure that you do this as well and once you do that now if we play the game again 
you will notice now when we perform the parkour as you can see we don't have now any movement okay as you can see and now the next issue is that for example if we duplicate this okay and move it right here okay and let's try to increase the height of this then now let's play the game okay now if we try to jump on this and now when we get right there as you can see it consider this as a edge okay when we actually don't want this okay we want that if there is something in front of the player then we don't want to perform jump down action on the parkour controller script what we will do we will move this outside of the if condition okay let's paste it right there then right here we will say and hit data dot hit found okay it means that if we didn't found any hit then we will not jump through the obstacle in front of the player so now if we save this and get back to unity now let me minimize that okay and now if we play the game again you will notice now that when we get in front of it now as you can see it is not performing the jump down par parkour action anymore as you can see okay it can only perform it right here that is it so now we have this issue fixed and we will be working on this parkour system in our upcoming videos and we will try to make our jump down parkour actions even more perfect okay we still have some issues but we will be working on that in the upcoming videos so stay tuned for that